It has been an amazing celebration this year. The 2018 Climate Diplomacy Week was launched under the theme Talanoa Dialogue. The event was held at Samofra Park on the 24th of September 2018. Ambassadors, students, teachers, organizations and the media were all present. The head of political section of the European Union delegation of Ghana, Paolo Salvia, addressed the people at the event. As uh, is often said, we do not inherit the heart from our ancestors, we borrow it from our children. Well, that's why we choose to, is here to support environmental education in vast waste segregation schools across the greater Accra area. The executive director of Environment 360, Kodi Aziz, steered the affairs for the day. She explained the theme for this year's Climate Diplomacy Week celebration. It's participatory, so it's not something that the children are observing, but it's something that they're actually going to actively participate in. Present at the event was the Municipal Chief Executive of the GA East Municipal Assembly, Janet Mensa. She emphasized on how problematic climate change is in our world it's today. It's an honor and privilege to be here this afternoon to participate in this remarkable launching ceremony. Climate change is a, pro, a global problem today and Ghana is not of uh, exception. In view of this launching of the EU climate policy, diplomacy here is certainly appropriate and relevant. 50 recycling bins were donated by the European Union to the Greenview Environmental Clubs in Ghana East. As part of the celebration, a stage play was organized for 500 students in the Ga East Municipal District. The play educated children to better understand the three hours, reduce, reuse, and recycle. It's because of people like you that our trees are dying. When you are dying, you don't even recycle. Because you are dying, you don't even recycle. In the end, it was obvious that the three hours were embedded in the brains of the children. Check this out. A three-week intensive education on climate change and how to create artworks using recyclable materials was organized for five private schools in a car. Team Echo Eagles of Al Ryan International School, SKM of Ghana International School. Asasi Aban of American International School, LAS Flames of LAS Liberty School, and Team BIS of British International School. The art seminar was organized in preparation towards the award ceremony for this year's Climate Diplomacy Week 2018 art competition. Who takes the trophy home? Who owns the bragging right? The climax of this year's Climate Diplomacy Week 2018 is the award event. Five people were selected to form a jury and inspect projects by the students. They included the Executive Director of Environment 360, the artist who assisted in the creation of projects, and three representatives from the European Union. During the event, each participating school was given an opportunity to highlight on the impact this project has had on them and what influenced their storyline. So before I ever actually was part of this um, competition, I really didn't know so much about climate change. Like I heard about it, but I really didn't think it was that big of a deal. But actually being part of this and researching and going to the beach and finding things actually made me a lot more aware of what was happening and I think I'm going to try a lot harder now that I will actually pay more attention to what I've thrown away and what I can recycle. It was revealing to note that the Climate Diplomacy Week 2018 celebration has positively impacted the lives of these students. The Ambassador of the European Union Delegation to Ghana, Her Excellency Dina Akonsia, highlighted on the impact of climate change in our world today. We can already see the impact of global warming and climate change in Ghana. 
climate is changing, affecting agriculture, fisheries, water resources, energy, and human health. Sometimes we hear that protecting the environment and fighting against climate change come at the expense of economic growth and that this would harm development perspectives of countries like Ghana. I don't agree. The European Union experience shows that ambitious climate policies can go hand in hand with economic growth, job creation, improved health for people and better protection of the environment. And the EU can use its experience to support Ghana in the design and development of appropriate policies. The Executive Director of Environment 360, Ms. Kodi Aziz, shared her satisfaction with the activities undertaken so far. Uh, as we mentioned, we've had a great three and a half weeks celebrating climate diplomacy with the European Union. Uh, we've done a variety of activities that have included recycling, uh, donation of recycling bins, a play with 500 school children from the Ga East Municipal Assembly, as well as a recycled art competition, which what we are seeing is a culmination today. It is time to announce the winners. Emotions are high, hearts beating fast. Who will take the trophy home? Let's take a look. So ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome in third place, British International School. A round of applause for them. Ghana International School, they were the second place winners for this competition. A round of applause for them. Ladies and gentlemen, and the winner is American International School. Ladies and gentlemen, there you have it, your winners, American International School. But you know, when you, when, when you are done winning, you need to keep the victory work. So you take your cup and then you walk along, let everybody have a feel. That's what they do in the World Cup, you understand? So let everyone have a feel of... And while they are doing that, let the applause linger. Fantastic job by the American International School. The wife of the Norwegian ambassador, Othild Rosbeck, presented an invitation to the winning team to attend a private exhibition at the residence of the ambassador. The Climate Diplomacy Week 2018 celebration has been successful. Let us keep championing the fight against climate change.